Hi guys! So I got so many requests for a peanut butter lip balm and I decided to make one for this video and also answer some questions that came up a lot under my Nutella EOS tutorial. So I'm using a pink EOS which smells like strawberry and that goes really well with the peanut butter. So first, cut off all the balm using a craft knife. The last time I did this, a lot of people freaked out saying, oh no, you're wasting a whole lip balm. But in this case, we will be reusing all the EOS balm, so make sure you keep it in the safe place. My trick for opening EOS containers is to wiggle your knife next to this tiny plastic tab and then gently push until the grate pops out. One of the most common questions I get is what can I use instead of beeswax? The answer is actually really simple. Just use one of these white tea light candles. Make sure that it's completely unscented and uncolored because that means there are fewer chemicals inside. So the only difference is that beeswax is obviously made from bees and the candle is a type of man-made wax called paraffin wax. But both types have similar melting points, they're both non-toxic, so they can be used for making lip balms. So for this recipe, you'll need creamy peanut butter, some mild coconut oil, and this is German, not Swedish, and you'll need one plain tea light candle. To make the middle part of the lip balm, you'll need the leftover strawberry EOS, some red food coloring, or some leftover red lip balm. First, chop your tea light up into little pieces. This is the same as one tablespoon of beeswax. When you reach the center, just clean off all the wax from the wick and throw out the metal part. Now place all the wax in a heatproof cup. Add one tablespoon of creamy peanut butter and one and a half tablespoons of coconut oil. In a separate container, add the rest of the strawberry EOS, some red food coloring, lip balm or lipstick. Place both containers into a shallow water bath and then heat on low until everything is melted. The wax may look lumpy for quite some time, but don't worry and just keep on stirring and melting until everything is smooth. Pour a tiny bit of the strawberry balm into the bottom part of the lid and then put this into the freezer for about 10 minutes. During this time, you can keep the heat of the stove on the lowest setting so that the peanut butter balm still stays liquid, but it doesn't burn. So if you want to at this stage, you can use a needle to cut any shape you want out of the strawberry balm and then place it back into the lid of the EOS. Of course, you can also skip this stage and you'll just have a round pink circle on top of your lip balm. Now just screw the grate back onto the lid. A lot of people have asked how the actual round shape of the EOS came about, and that's because the lid of EOS is actually a mold. So all you have to do is pour your liquid balm mixture through the bottom, and it will automatically harden into a dome shape. Place it into the freezer for at least 30 minutes until everything has set. Now simply snap the back part of the EOS container back into place, and your lip balm is done. Ta-da! So another question I got a lot under the Nutella video was, is this lip balm edible? And the answer of course is no, because it contains wax, which is non-toxic, but it's definitely not a food, so you shouldn't be eating it. But it smells so delicious like peanut butter, and it's really moisturizing, which you can actually see here on camera. And lastly, please remember never to use this lip balm around anyone who might have a peanut allergy. So thank you so much for watching. If you've done any of my DIYs, then I would love to see them on Instagram. My username is Macaroon, and that's the same name of my other YouTube channel, where I do loads of cute craft tutorials. So if you haven't seen it yet, then please check out the link below and subscribe.